Grace Helmick and I'm an employee for the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. Today I have a video for you on ways to stay sharp during the break and to help you prepare for the semester ahead. The first resource I want to tell you about is LinkedIn Learning and if you're a William & Mary student or faculty this is free for you to use. It's essentially a course that enables you to learn all sorts of skills across business, uh, creative fields, and technology with a bunch of easy to follow how-to videos and classes. You can simply pick a category, scroll through, or if you know what you want, you can go ahead and search that in the search bar. And you'll come up with hundreds of hits, all taught by professionals in the field themselves. Once you've selected a course, you'll be brought to a page that has a series of videos as well as quizzes, notes, and a Q&A section for your enjoyment. At the start of the break, I decided that I wanted to try my hand at claymation, so I personally have been looking through a lot of courses on stop motion, as well as how to build sets in order to create my own. My second tip would be to spend some time reading for fun. We don't often do this during the semester, and during the break is a great time to catch up on some of that pleasure reading. I recommend trying to thrift your books if possible. I do this to try to reduce waste. You can always go to a local thrift store, or there's a website, ABE Books, that is fabulous when it comes to thrifting books. This is also a good place to buy used if you need some textbooks for the new semester. Another habit I've been trying to curate this break is writing for an hour a day. I find that this helps me improve my creativity as well as my writing style, and it keeps me inspired and motivated to work. My last tip would be to try some new skills. I for one decided to try baking some cookies that I had never made before. They were thumbprint cookies and they were absolutely delicious, so I'll include the recipe here. Remember how I said I was getting into claymation? Well, here is the set that I've begun building. I purposely used command strips so that I can change out the scenery pretty easily. One set can become another in like two seconds. Today I was trying to build some bookshelves to put into my little wand shop. I tried using resources I had around the house. Unfortunately, I ran out of paint, so we're just going to have to see how this looks later. Puzzles are another great way to stay stimulated, and you can do them with the family. Well, I hope that you were able to find some of these tips helpful, and I hope that you have a wonderful semester ahead.